There we go. All right. So I'm going to do a quick blurb here. Um, basically, I call this one the buyer beware. Um, recently, with all the games coming out that are incomplete and just horribly done, the game buyer of yesterday needs to be smarter today. Um, there have been some horrible games that have come out within recent days, mostly last year, but they're starting to come out this year as well, um, that are incomplete, and they're just a waste of money, basically. A waste of, waste of money. You don't want to spend money on games that are incomplete, and, and you want to make sure that you do your research and, and all that. But I'm going to run you through real quickly. This is a game that's coming out um, April 19th. People are... I looked at the community hub on it. People are iffy about it, stuff like that. Um, obviously, the the film looks like it's running a bit shoddy. Um, it looks kind of cool. Um, I watched some video on it though, and and it the this these are the highlights that they're showing. But basically, one of the best ways that you can take and um, basically research a game is you go to the the publisher. And you look at the publisher, what they've, they've backed. And when I look at it, I found Arma, Armada 2526, Gold Edition. So I went to that. And when I went to that, I was like, okay, so same company, right? And so I started watching the video on this. And as it progressively plays... I ended up discovering that this is basically the same thing as the Star Drive. Now, it it looks cleaner. Um, it it isn't uh, as rough looking. But look at the release date: February twenty eighth, twenty thirteen, and that's for the Gold Edition. So it came out like last year or whatever. Um, but Really? It's, it's, it was the same game, basically. I mean, the models are probably different, but I bet you anything it's the same engine that they're using. Um, so, that's one thing. Another thing you can do is actually take and look at gameplay video like I did for it, as far as I found people who have the beta who, who pre-ordered it already. And it, it seems okay. It, I mean, there, there are flaws to it. Um, but they can actually improve it, and it's still in, in the, the beta stage, so it isn't as bad. Um, so that's one way to look at it. Unfortunately, now publishers are playing the bait-and-switch game. Now, what is a bait-and-switch game? The bait-and-switch game is the oldest method of scamming. Let's find the bait and switch game. I'm looking. I'm looking. So I really don't see anything here. But wait. Aliens Colonial Marines. They are guilty of bait and switch. Now why do I say that? Is because of the fact that basically if you go to like, I'm looking for it here. Let's see if they show it in the pictures. No, they don't. But they had some stuff that they had showed at E3. And one of them was, um, if you have you ever seen the special edition of Aliens, um, basically, they have the two gun, because they have gun turrets in the original movie Aliens. Um, or not the original first movie, original second movie. Um, they... The uncut version is they have turrets, and they have about four turrets. Um, two of them they set up outside of the perimeter when they, they're, they're fortified in themselves. And there's a hallway, and these two gun turrets are, are pointed right down that hallway, and there's no other way for the aliens to really go. And so they're um, basically supposedly coming down the hall and getting shot by the guns. Well, they recreated it in this game, and they had it at E3. It wasn't there in the game itself. When they released it, what? Why wasn't it in the game? That is, that would have been kind of cool. Now, there's also an early um, E3 demo as well 
where aliens are coming through this opening and there's a, um, a loader with a flamethrower, that's gone as well. That wasn't in this game. Um, and the AI seemed more intelligent, intelligent and um, the bodies didn't disappear. The bodies disappear in this game. And the AI seems really, really stupid. So, yeah, they, they played a, a complete bait and switch. I don't know why they did this. But typically I would say, like, you you can kind of go more by the publishers. But when Gearbox and Sega play a bait and switch, you can't really go by the publishers anymore. Um, you got to be careful on what you buy. I mean, look at this. The meta score is only 43. The AI in this game is horrible. Now, before I just completely go on a random tangent on the AI and, and you know, just tear up this game, we're not going to bother doing that because it's not about that. It's just in general uh, about how to just, just be careful um, because you'll find yourself buying a really bad game. Um, also, another big thing is uh, community um, support from the game company itself. If they have bad customer service, you're not going to want to play the game, no matter how good the game is. Because when you need your, the, the company to be there for you, they won't be. Now, I actually got a Defiance um, beta key, and literally, before I even got into the game itself, it didn't work. So, I posted on the forums, I contacted, I sent direct messages to um, a few of the staff members to let them know I got a, a, a key and it didn't work. And they didn't respond at all. Um, they might have eventually re responded, and I just didn't go back to their webpage because um, it was for a free weekend kind of thing. And within like 24 hours, I, I kept checking randomly. Not like every 10 minutes or anything, but like every few, you know, like eight hours or whatever. Um, but it, it was a few hours. Um, and they never responded. So it was one of the things to where it's like, this is already a bad company out the door um, as far as uh, community relations. Uh, I, I noticed that, you know, on their their game hub, they're, they're trying, but I don't know, it seems to be more uh, staged, the best way to put it. Because there, like, there was a uh, post up here by one of the devs. Oh, here it is. Right, she's a community manager, um, but she's trying. She's trying. See, so she's a developer, but I think she's a community manager. But, um, anyways, it's just one of the things to where I have a feeling that once the game is fully released, that it's going to be the same thing that I ran into. So, as soon as that happened, my interest in the game went. It just fell apart. I completely lost interest in the game. And it ended up to where um, I'm not really intrigued anymore. Like, I'm tired of companies uh, basically taking in the, I don't know, like, just I'm just tired of companies half-assing it and, and doing what they're doing. Um, that's another reason why I want to get into uh, uh, game development is because I was tired of the company's just basically screwing up and and causing the buyer to not be interested in games and, and bad games coming out and lack of storyline and and there's no real passion there there it's just all about like oh we're gonna make shooters and and uh, that have no storyline to them whatsoever and so it's just blah 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 fire and I mean in some cases some of those games can be fun if they're original ideas as far as some of the conceptual ideas behind them that's cool but other games, no. I I got tired of renting games or, or buying games that literally had were fluff. They're it was just crap. Um, so in this day and age, you got to be more careful. You got to really be careful. So, anyways, to get past the whole buyer beware crap, um, like in some cases, though, a game might not be necessarily complete, but it might have enough elements in it. That will keep you entertained. Uh, for example, for me, Towns. Towns is a fun game to me, but the only the only real flaw to it is the fact that you is more of an automated kind of game to where you 
can set it up and then leave it sitting there and that's how you get your people um, and you leave it for a few hours and you just let it run now I understand like a lot of people can't really do that um, so it might not necessarily be for them because it's hard to replenish your people but that's the only way that I can play that game um, and there's a lot of good indie games out there as well uh, but just do your research and look at the publisher look at you know all, all that stuff um, and if you feel really iffy about a game especially when it's a movie game like I don't know it's, it's, it seems like no game company can actually make a proper movie game anymore or actually forever never I haven't played a, a, a good game that was for a movie um, or that was made from a movie I should say um, so yeah that's, that's a big flop and sadly enough, Alien Colonial Marine, I was really looking forward to, and it ended up to where, uh, no, it is crap. Oh, I can't believe it. And then I heard the twist in it, like, was supposed to be where a character from that movie um, survived, and I found out who it was and researched it, and I was like, what? And I have to agree, bullshit. 